Hi folks, my name is Jim Wilde from Veterans United Against Suicide. Uh, for those of you who follow me, you'll, you'll know that and recognise my ugly features. I just wanted to add something um, to tag on to the back end of Jeff Williams' video that he did um, about half an hour ago about uh, figures. Because we're not uh, recognised by the Ministry of Defence and the government for, for what we do, because we're not an official charity, official organisation, that sort of thing. Everybody's been using our figures and they uh, they can still continue to do so. But um, we're not providing them anymore, certainly not to any of the media outlets um, as they're not officially recognised. But the people that have passed are artificially dead and have passed. And I just wanted to highlight one thing. As at the 30th of June this year, I remember doing a video, um, uh, a tribute for a, a, a young corporal in the RAF. No names, no packager at the moment. Anyway, that was the 30th of June. On that date, we had suffered 32 losses, both serving and veterans. 32 losses on the 30th of June this year. As of today, we've incurred, since the 30th of June, 41 further losses. So that's in just over five months. There's another 41 losses. Now that works out at uh, eight a month, two suicides a week. We're way in front of where we were this time last year and um, without giving the, the, the official figures at the moment because we've still got a number that are in uh, are under investigation until it's time as we can confirm and verify. But 41 in five months that's eight a month two a week and the ministry of defense and uh, the little agencies that are running around scurrying with mr mercer seem to think that their high intensity service and till system and all these other career paths that they've uh, currently putting into place are obviously not working um, we need to find out why that is um, still losing two a week the, clip of two a week is uh, is unacceptable so whatever these systems are that are being put in place they're currently not working and we have to find out why it has to be found out why and trying to stem the flow this time of year with covid and christmas on the doorstep we normally see an increase in our figures certainly around christmas time but with the added bonus for want of a better word of covid strapped onto the back of that we reckon those figures will inflate considerably more. Just be mindful of that and don't believe um, necessarily all that you hear from the organisations that reckon they're providing great services and everybody out there is being dealt with in the correct manner. What we'd like to do, or certainly I'd like to know, is anybody out there that has tried to access this high intensity service that Johnny Mercer keeps uh, bleating on about. Um, we know the till system's in force and we know that that is accessible, um, albeit not as successful as it should be. But this high in intensity service and this new career path, whatever it is that's been available to veterans, we'd like to know, those of you out there that have tried to access it, what sort of success have you had, or failure for that matter, feel free to let us know, either myself Jim Wilde on Facebook um, and Jeff Williams. PM either one of us with any information you may have and let us know and we'll take it from there. We're currently obviously hearing that Jeff's mentioned in his video that we've got a number of troops up in the Liverpool area and they will be widespread further than that in due course that are providing all the support and logistics behind the testing systems that are, uh, are being used at the moment. Well, our very own troops now have con contracted this damn disease um, on the front line. So I'd be interested to know um, how, that's, how that has happened, because obviously there are precautions in place. Rumour has it, and subject to confirmation and verification, is that it's something to do with the logistics chain, the, uh, the materials, the food, containers, etc., being brought in, to facilitate the, the feeding, etc., of our troops. So uh, all is not well in the world, just because our troops are up there doing what they do best, they're not being shielded. And um, 
as Jeff would say, they'll probably be sent home much like the uh, individuals after the, their tours in Afghanistan and Iraq, be sent home to uh, heal up and get over it. Um, but we need to look into this a bit more deeply because Liverpool's just the start of it. These guys are going to be used certainly throughout the UK in various testing stations and we can only see that this situation getting worse. Feel free to PM us, Jeff Williams or Jim Wilde and Veterans United Against Suicide. Until then, don't forget your buddy checks and take care wherever you are. Thanks for watching, thanks for listening and as always, thanks for supporting our cause.